What's going on, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? Dr. Socko here, and Rollo88 here, coming at you live and in the flesh. And um, I wanted to talk to you guys today because I don't know if I'm going to church. I have, I don't know, I've been to church last two weeks ago, and it was good. But the thing is, I'm praying at the altar, and I'm sitting there saying, Oh, that you would rend the heavens and come down to earth. You know, I'm speaking to Jesus. And that's in Isaiah 64, which is in the Bible. And I'm expecting, like, glorious results. And I'm expecting Jesus just to come back, you know, his second coming. Which uh, I'm excited for, but I think maybe... I'll die before that happens and so anyways I think the best thing I can do is continue to go to church and be a part of that community and my church family and then eventually I'll grow into my sainthood and I'll be able to go up to heaven to go be with my brother oh you mean the one you've talked about in all your other videos you mean Kurt Curtis Ron Roland yeah um, that's his name and I'm sure that somebody's gonna now hack in and use him to like vote or something like that or I don't know but anyways um, I don't know life is crazy um, I could be a lot happier I think but I think that I would need like a girlfriend or something to do that and I just don't know if that's in the cards for me. I think I could live the rest of my life and be happy and be single on my own. Um, my plan is to get an RV. An RV? Yeah, Dr. Sacco. And I want to get an RV and I want to just go travel and be free in the wilderness, you know? But also, I want to have a good budget so I can, you know, still have something to eat while I'm on the road. Yeah, that's true. For sure, for sure. Yeah, a lot of people do it. They get older and then they, you know, give up all their worldly possessions so they can go travel and be in an RV and go do like the rubber tramp rendezvous. Woo, that sounds pretty fun. Yeah, I agree, Dr. Sacco, but I'm still a ways off from doing that. I'm still years and years away from doing that. Oh, that's too bad. I wish you could do it this year. Uh... Yeah, that would be pretty cool, but I'm not going to put the cart before the horse. Um, I think that was a problem in 2017. People were trying to do things before the proper time was there to actually get things done. And now in 2018, I'm like, let's just get things done and just zoom to the future. Wow, the future? How far away is that? Um, we're actually living in the future right now, Dr. Sacco. What? Yeah, from just a second ago when your eyes fell, the time that passed, it's time. Time is always moving forward. And so are we, Dr. Sacco. Whoa, trippy, man. Yeah, it's kind of trippy. But, um, you know, I guess what I was trying to say is I don't know if I'm going to go to church as much because I guess I'm just expecting too much. Um... And, you know, I've studied, I've put the time into it, and there's not as much of a result from it. Not really a reward, but a result, you know? I'm just expecting a closer walk with Jesus, and I don't know. Um, it's hard when there's an intangible thing and when you're alone, and then it's harder and harder. So, I don't know. Oh man, that sounds pretty, uh, I don't know, not too easy, but I'm sure you're going to make it. You'll be fine. Remember when I was on Dr. Phil's show for a year as an intern? I was a psychiatrist and I could help you. Oh, thanks, Dr. Sacco. That would be really nice. Yeah, no problem. Just listen to my advice and we'll go places. Okay. And that goes for you too, guys. I will help everybody. Look at my bow tie. It's so official and regal. It makes you think, wow, this guy knows what he's talking about. 
and I do I really really do so if you love this video like comment and subscribe tell me if you go to church or not and um I'm gonna go to church I guess if I can wake up in time oh I love you bye guys roller 88 signing off um let me know if you have any theological questions about like Jesus or God because I am always questioning and uh, praying and trying to make my um, relationship with them deeper because I do believe that they exist and um, there's actually you know scientific evidence that Jesus was on the earth so amazing atheist eat your heart out yeah eat your heart out dude so um, anyways yeah, if we have nothing but time, why wouldn't you hedge your bets and just believe in a higher power? You know what I mean? Because God is sovereign, and he's above all creation. We are nothing compared to the power of God. Peace and love be with you all. Forever and ever. Amen. Like, comment, subscribe. See you guys in the next one. Oh, and I finally fixed my webcam, so now we can have a better quality of videos and I don't have to sit there and hold the dang camera while I'm trying to talk to you guys jeez what a waste of time yeah what he said like comment subscribe peace